Black was in the building. Shout outs to you. You showed us love. We appreciate. Thanks for accepting the Sting Shuff on your show. One of the hardest MCs out of this city is in the building today. Mr. Young B, welcome to Sting Shuff, my brother. What's up, man? Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, what's going on, man? Music wise, what's up, man? Yo, um, nah, man. You know, we're busy with the sequel, Sub Zero mm-hmm. Volume Two. Actually, check that out coming soon. Mm-hmm. You know, basically, man. You know, we're recording, taking my time on the project. You know, cause it's, I mean, I dropped one last year, Sub Zero Volume One. Did incredibly well. You know, it's better than my expectations. You know, so I'm out to give the public, you know, more. You know, in sense of storytelling, and you know, mm-hmm. that's what's up, man. When I heard about your uh, 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 your single. That, yeah. that came out recently. Can you tell me about your yeah. single? Yeah, West Coast Party, man. Um, yeah, man, it's just like a party single, you know, turn up, you know, for the ladies and gents out there. Mm. You know, basically, um, delving into some new styles, you know, new, uh, you know, keeping the style versatile, fresh at the same time. Lyrical content is still on, you know, so that's yeah, what's up, man. What is the inspiration behind the lyrical content of West Coast Party? Um, basically, man, like, I my greatness, for instance, first of all, you know, the vibes of people, you know, the vibes of, you know, being at a party and celebration of life itself, you know, so it's basically, in essence, a celebration of life itself, basically, you know what I'm saying, so West Life is a West Coast party, man, you know, oh. yeah, man. The last time I spoke to you, you told me you time to rediscover yourself, yeah, yeah. have you now dis- rediscovered yourself? Um... In terms of rediscovery, man, you know, that is that is a long journey, man, you know, for any man, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Not just for me, for any man, you know, that's a long journey, man, you know, I'm every day, day by day, I find something new about myself, you know, that I never, you know, thought I could do or was capable of, you know. So the journey to self discovery, man, is a very long one, you know. So it's a process. So, so are you now sticking to one genre of music now, are you now going to do just rap? The rest of your no, 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 definitely not, man. I, I, I like di- diving into new, you know, keeping the essence of hip hop but diving into different genres of music, you know. Mm. I mean, I've, I've done rock and roll tracks, you know, I've done dubstep tracks, you know, so it's a matter of reinventing myself, still keeping the essence of Cape Town, you know, with lyrical content, you know what I'm saying, but uh. Expanding the sound definitely, man, because I write vocals for R and B. You know, I also record a couple of recording bands. You know, out at the college, Cape Audio College. So yeah, man. You know. Okay, how is thirteen? How is it going? Thirteen at the moment now. Thirteen is 13? fire, man. Thirteen is the best crew in the streets right now. You know that for a fact. Um, the Bloodline EP is actually coming soon. That's Lock and Iron. Mm-hmm. You know that is some fire right there, man. And um, yeah, I'm featured in a track called Hurricane. You know. And uh, it's a very upbeat track, turn up track, and yeah, man, yo, people will love it. It's an eight track EP, and yo, man, it's fire, bro. Mm. Fire, bro. So yeah. who's featuring on the EP? Um, I'm the only feature on the EP. It's just Lock and Aya, and you know, Young B is the only feature on the EP. When is it coming out? The EP should be very, very soon, man. You know, every all recording is done now. It's about mixing and mastering. You know, getting everything sorted, polished up. Should be coming very soon. Man. Oh, event-wise, what's going on? Are you doing any gigs? Um, yo, we got tonight, actually. We got uh, at the at the farm. I should mm. check the credentials out. Timo Abdul is actually playing out there, you know. Mm. So it's actually not much. We're just going to be out there to support the boys. Actually playing 12 a.m. tonight. Mm. We're just going to support the boy, man. And, you know, there's I Might Greatness, you know, next week. And, uh, you know, possibly at Black Saturday gig. But at the moment, it's all about recording the tape, man. You know, getting the tape done and sorted man so have you started earning some living from your music yet um not really man but look for me for me the compliments and accolades i get is mm. wealth enough man you know for me like honestly in all essence man music i do it for the sake of loving music you know i feel like the messages i portray in my music are messages people choose to ignore you know mm. so i mean man Money will come when it does come, but for me, I'm just solely doing it for the passion and love for the music. Oh, yeah. so, but you are an artist that doesn't belong to any label at the moment. No. You're not signed to any no, label. No, 
So how would the independent grind going now? Independent grind, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? It's survival of the fittest, but, you know, we hustle, grind mm-hmm. every day, all day, man, you know, and get it on. So how, how are you pushing it out there? How are you pushing yourself? Um, yo, I got people. an Instagram page, you know, yeah. at YoungB underscore 7560. I got a Twitter page at YoungB underscore 7560 as well. Mm. Um, check me out on Facebook at Mbasangumbela on Facebook, all right? Mm. And um, yeah, man, we're just out here, you know, pushing out the links, pushing out everything to the people, pumping out the music on the streets, and people are showing mad love, man, mad love. There's uh, certain awards of Cape Townians called Cape Plus Music Video Awards. Yeah. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't heard of it yet. That's something you have to check out and yeah. submit your videos out there. Shut but up. why do you think Cape Town hip hop is neglected? Cape Town hip hop is neglected because Cape Town rappers speak truth. You understand? We speak about the stuff people choose to ignore. You understand? People from Joburg, people from Durban, they have this fantasy life they live in. You understand? And people get addicted to being warped into a fantasy life, if you can call it that. We're all struggling out here, man. As, as black individuals, we're all out here struggling. We have the same struggles. We have the same upbringing, you know, but people choose to neglect that for that four or five minutes that a turn-up track is playing. Mm. And Cape Town actually gets to the core of, you know, issues of today, you know, the drugs that's infected Cape Town, you know, the crime that's infected Cape Town. That is why people choose to neglect that because it is the truth, you know. But why do you think Johannesburg and the rest and Durban music hits here so much and it sticks for a very long time? In terms of sticking for a very long time, uh, I would choose to disagree with that actually because I mean, if you look at timeless music, we're talking about prophets of the city. No, I'll tell you now. Yeah. If a Joburg artist drops a record, like say like yeah. say like Casper yeah, drops yeah, a yeah, record, yeah. it will play here for two years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why do you think their music is so impactful here in Cape Town than? The local Cape Town artists. Like I said, dog, like I said, you know what I'm saying? People like to live in a fantasy world of gold chains and gold watches, man. Mm. They don't actually focus on the main core of, you know, people would rather just drink and forget about their problems and party. So, which is, that is Joburg music, you know what I'm saying? It's accommodative to partying people. You know, here in Cape Town, cool, we are about good times, but, you know, we're also lyrically inclined where we actually focus on things that should be focused on. So, so do you feel like you have to move out of Cape Town for you to blow? Definitely not. Definitely not, man. I just feel like all these big, the big names in Cape Town have been given a platform. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that platform, they just not, they not playing around with it as enough as, you know, as how dirty they should, you know. I feel like these dudes are just, you know, they're given the big platform to go ahead and do their thing, but I don't feel like they're actually penetrating that platform, man. You know. But generally, how do you feel about the state of music of Cape Town? Like, like this, you get African rhythms and hip hop and pop. Yeah. How do you feel about the state of the music in Cape, Cape Town? Cape Town hip hop, man, is 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 incredible. It's mm. incredible, man. We we talking about underground, you know, lyrical content all day and every day. You know what I'm saying? I've seen major talent here in Cape Town because I, I grew up in Port Elizabeth. And I've been to Joburg, I've been to Durban, you know, I've been to Pretoria. And out of all these cities that I've been in, you know, Cape Town, I feel like, has the most talent in terms of underground and up-and-coming rappers, man. It's just that the resources aren't mm-hmm. here. So people choose to just lack and, you know, give up, you know. But it's all about pushing the movement, make the movement one, you know, as Cape Town. That's mm-hmm. the thing we're lacking here. So when you stepped behind the mic the first time, you definitely had uh, where you want your music to take you, what you want to get from your music. What is that that you want to get out of your music? Um, yo, man, actually, yo, when I first stepped into the mic, man, it was just all about, yo, rapping. It was just this cool thing we're doing, man. You know, there was really no, you know, mm. direction, clear direction in my music. But I think as I grew... And I found myself, and I found my sound, and I realized that, yo, man, this music, I actually, I actually want to change people's perception, you know, of a black male with mm. my music, you know what I'm saying? The mm. black, the, the definition of a black male, mm. you know, is like many negatives rather than positives, you mm. know what I'm saying? Not to be racial or anything, but it is the truth, you know. 
So basically what I'm out to do is take my stories from the ghetto, take them to the suburbs, you know what I'm saying, and actually show people like, look, mm. you know, we're also real people who feel the same as you guys do, you know. I'm actually out to change the world with my work, man. I'm not out here to make money or anything like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out to, I'm just passionate about music, man. You know, that's just how it is. So being passionate about music, you still have a long way to go because you're a very young MC that's yeah. just coming into the game. Yeah. Definitely. What are the strategies that you're laying to show to show that you stay in the right lane yeah. to achieve what you want to achieve here in the music? Um, yo, man, uh, like the people I'm working with right now, you know, are, are legends. You know, people like Love B, mm. people like Young Aya, you know, people like mm. Daz, Flex, Timo Abdul. They've earned their stripes in the game, man. You know, in terms of Cape Town, and I'm just out here, you know, learning everything I can from them, you know, and I'm I'm always open, you know, for new things and new ideas, man. You know, what I'm saying I'm not a person who's content with what I have, you know, I always want more, so I choose to, I choose to basically surround myself with, you know, people that genuinely know what they're doing, mm -hmm. you know, and feed off them, man, and feed off them, take lessons in, and, you know, basically formulate my ways, take their mistakes, and actually, you know, formulate my path into this, man. Yeah. So when you walk in the streets with your music, who do you think that you represent? What type of people do you think that you represent? Uh, yo man, I just I just represent I just represent the average young the average young person who actually, you know, the thing is with us young people, man, um, born free is ourselves, you know, because mm -hmm. I am a born free. Um, we're not taken as seriously, man, because it's like if I come through with an idea on some yo, this is what's up, so hey yo, this kid, what you know, what are you thinking? You know, what I'm saying it's like us young people aren't allowed anymore to actually dream big and actually you know do major things so i'm actually representing all the young cats man you know what i'm saying all the born freeze out there you know and telling all our stories for us you know because i mean when i look at all people more or less my age we've had more or less the same upbringing man in terms of what we were interested in what we we're not interested in black white and colored man so I'm just out to represent the average young cat, man, you know, with some intellectual, like, intellectuality, you know what I'm saying, if you can put it that way. And then, yeah, man, you know. So when it's time to just party or to listen to music, who are you feeling with? Who would you say that, no, this yo, is... Yo, I'm a massive Casper Nuggets fan, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, big ups to him, man, I'm a massive Casper fan. Um... Basically, I bump local hip hop, man. I feel like African hip hop has come such a long way in the space of two years. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the best hip hop the world has to offer. At what the is so special about Casper Nuggets? Why do you feel Casper Yo, Casper so Nuggets, man, it's not about the lyrical content, but the way the way he, he hustled his career. He was given a small platform, you know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say about everyone else, he was given the small platform mm -hmm. and he worked with it. Now he's one of the best artist in the country and his music his music brings the sole purpose of you know like let's jam we out here man we're celebrating dream big you know he gave people like us that hope to dream again you know because mm. rappers in south africa weren't making anything of that before him and before aka you know it was just a matter of they came in they came in there with a different mentality of yo i want it big and they got the way to where they wanted to be man, you know so kudos to that so you told me you now you're doing your music for the love because you yes. love to do music. You haven't earned anything from the music. That means you still have a certain way that you have to sustain your living. Yeah. How do you balance the two, music and the hustle? Um, yo, man, it's just a matter of hard grind, man. It's you know, it's it's basically the not to say the disadvantages of being mm -hmm. indie, but you know that's just the hustle, man. It's how it goes, you know. You, wake up you know i got i also got college you know i study i'm studying sound engineering at the moment mm. so yo man it's just do don't sleep man you know wake up go to college go to work after work you gotta go to court you know what i'm saying so it's just hustling hustling all day man all day so you get so many artists that are like you that are upcoming that want to achieve what you want to achieve yeah. which makes it like a war this is like a battle that you are into now how do you stay away from what they call beef and have just a street fair? Oh, yo, man, look, for me personally, beef, man, is a whole waste of time. Man. It's 
a waste of lyrics, a waste of studio time, a waste of a beat, it's a waste of fucking time. You understand? Mm, mm, mm. I came in an upbringing where if you have a problem with me, let's deal with it. If you're man, if you if if you're not man enough to actually talk to me, we can step outside, sit at the beef properly, like men would do. You understand? Beef for me, that whole scene of battling and uh, that's bullshit to me. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm all about creating a movement, one solid Cape Town movement, which is what is lacking right now. Is that solid Cape Town movement where all the rappers from Cape Town are actually going okay, towards okay. one goal? Mm. It's like now, it's at the point where if if you dope, you know what I'm saying. And you come to my hood and you start mm-hmm. rapping there now it's like i'm gonna feel like yo man fuck yo fuck sting man this mm-hmm. nigga you know what i'm it's saying killing. he ain't even that dope knowing in your brain that yo this nigga is actually dope mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you'll be like yo man fuck this nigga ain't that you know he ain't, he ain't this he ain't that rather than actually thinking why don't i work with this nigga and actually produce some fire you know what i'm saying actually go forward that's that's all that's missing right now so if you if you tell me you really think Casper Neve, that means you're not feeling anybody in Cape Town. There's nobody left. Nah, I'm really not feeling anyone in Cape Town. Town you feel like you are, you are the Cape Town. Yeah. Hardcore MC in Cape yeah, Town. Yeah, definitely, definitely. How can yeah. you tell Africa what to expect from Young B? Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Young B. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, you know, all you gotta expect is hardcore lyrics. You know. The hustle always continues and it's 13 music, man. You know, that's what I'm repping to this cast of crop face. Give me details about the EP again. The EP, Bloodline EP is coming soon, man. I'll be, I'll have it on my page, right? Which is Mbasa Ngumbeda on Facebook. Mm. Uh, Young I will have it on his page and Lofty will have it also on his page. It's basically a digital release. Mm. And then as that goes, we'll see if we're going to make some hard copies. Okay, last word to the viewers of the Sting Shuffle and to the fans of Young B as we wrap up tonight. Yo, man. Thank you so much for the support, man. You know what I'm saying? Sub-Zero Volume 2 coming soon. You know, and that is just some fire. Not because I'm the one who made it, but the people who actually surrounded me and made it possible, you know. So, yeah, man. It's Young B out here. West Coast Party, where do we find the track? Find it on my page, at Mbasangumbele on Facebook. Find it on my Instagram. At young B underscore seven five six zero. DJ Stinger, the Sting Shuffle, the hardest young MC out of Cape City, representing Thirteen News Group. We out of here. Make sure you subscribe and hit those thumbs up. Show him love. Show him support. He's out here to give you the dopest lyrics ever. Turn up. Hey, 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 hey. How about, How about? How about? we shun the size, we shun the size.